Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah and today I am sharing with you my September update for the Turn and Burn Project Pan. This is a collab with the Fantastic Ladies group on Facebook. I always have that group linked down below as well as the list of participants. So be sure you check those, uh, <laughs> be sure you check those couple of things out after you watch my video. So I've got some empties, I've got some good progress on some other items and then I am gonna go ahead and roll some uh, some more items in. So let's go ahead and jump on in and I'll show you what I've got for this month. So first off, um, this was the month of hand lotion. I had put in a bunch of hand lotions for last month and I finished every one of them. So none of them was really huge, but the first one that I finished off was the Bath & Body Works Body Lotion in Coconut Lime Verbena. And this was just a little sample size that I got um, from a hotel in Colorado um, and so I finished that one off. The next one that I finished off is this one from a farmer's market in Tennessee. This is the goat milk lotion in the scent Fall Berry and my mother had sent this to me uh, this past year for Christmas. Went ahead and finished this one off as well. And the final hand lotion that you can see, I sucked this one dry. I got every possible drop out of it. This is by the brand Grown Alchemist, and this is the la uh, the lotion, uh, the hand lotion in. I, I can't see the name anymore, but I think it's vanilla and um, like orange peel or orange zest or something like that. Um, I really, really liked this one. And um, the reason why I went through so many di different lotions is because I am having a terrible breakout of eczema on my hands. And so I was really trying to keep them hydrated. Um, I It's getting a little bit better, but my hands are still incredibly painful right now. And so it's it's even hard for me to wear my wedding ring. So if you've seen the last couple of videos and you're concerned, fear not. My husband and my son are in the other room. I can hear them playing right now. Everything is fine. It just hurts me to wear my rings. <laughs> Uh, the other empty that I have for this month is another tube of the Feria. Uh, this is just the conditioner that comes in the Feria, the boxed hair color. And so I had several of these and I finished another one off this month. Okay, so next I'll go ahead and show you the ones that I have some progress on. And then like I said, I am going to roll some new products in. I am still working away at this tiny little thing. This is the Murad Age Balancing Moisture. It's a moisturizer with SPF 30 in it. Um, I'm, I am making progress. I feel like I can see there's probably only like maybe two or three more uses in it. Um, I just haven't been using it really that consistently, obviously. So m one of my goals is going to be to get this one finally finished off for this month. One skincare product that I made tons of progress on, this was brand new last time, and this is the Egg White Perfect Pore Cleansing Foam. Cleansing Foam. Man, I'll tell you what, guys. Sorry, it's late at night, and clearly I am talked out today. Uh, this is by the brand Skin Food, and like I said, this was brand new last time, and so I have nearly finished this one. I probably have maybe one or two uses left, but I used this last night, and I was squeezing, squeezing, and it, I could tell that I didn't squeeze all of it out, but I think I'm super, super close. Next, we have this pocket back by Bath & Body Works. This is in the scent Peach Bellini, and you'll notice I did not make very good progress on this one this month, so these are my progress lines right here, and there's just the slightest difference between last month and this month. And the reason for that difference is because my hands were in such pain. They um, they get super dry and they crack um, and sometimes they blister. And so as you can imagine, putting a um, an alcohol-based anti-back onto skin that is cracked and dry 
doesn't really feel that great. So I have been washing my hands a little bit more and not relying on the antibacterial quite so much. The last item that I have progress in, and this is another one that, you know, I thought I was gonna finish it and I thought I was gonna finish it, and then it just came down to I had to film this video. So this is a, uh, a corrector by Well People. My shade is in light, and you can see here my progress. So last month I was here, and now I am all the way down here. So I don't know how many more days that's gonna take me. I think I'm gonna be done within a week, but I use literally just the teeniest, like the tip of a pin is how much I use every day. And I just use that for my under eyes. Um, so this tiny little thing has lasted me a couple of months now. And I don't wear it every single day, but I do wear it the majority of the days. I do like it, but again, it's something that I'm just ready to have done and ready to move on to the next item. Two that I did not get to for this month. Um, this is the uh, Age Beautiful Root Touch Up spray. I mentioned I was going to try to use this one up because it is in the dark blonde shade and I am transitioning to all gray. So I don't really need a blonde, you know, I don't need to touch up my gray roots because that's the whole idea. Uh, so anyways, I, I did mention I was going to try to use this one up. It's not brand new. It feels like it's about halfway done, um, but I just didn't use it at all this month. And then the other one I didn't use this month either. This is the Goodall Phyto Wash Yerba Mate Bubble Peeling Mask. And I just, um, I just haven't used it yet. This has been in for a couple of months now. And honestly, the reason I didn't use it is because of my hands. Because I didn't want to put something that was designed to peel on my hands that were already peeling and then, you know, try to work that into my skin that way. So I'm very hopeful that my, my hands will heal. Like I said, it's been probably about two or three weeks that I've been going through this bout. So it normally lasts about a month on, on you know, when it, it when it's a bad spell. So hopefully it'll be cleared up soon and I will be healed and I will be able to use this uh, peeling mask. I do want to go ahead and throw just a few more items in to work on for this month. The first one is, I think this is the last one that I have. This is another of the Feria conditioners. I also want to go ahead and throw in this uh, liquid blender cleanser by Beauty Blender. I desperately need to wash my brushes and so maybe this will inspire me to use this up and to wash them. I don't know, but that's the plan. The next item that I have is the Vol... Oh, Volition, I think is the brand name. Volition Turmeric Brightening Polish for face and body. This is obviously just a little, a tiny little thing, but I was reading the back of it before I started filming this video and it says you can only use it once a week. So this is, I would imagine, gonna take me at least the full month, if not a little bit longer. And then the final item that I have is another item by It Cosmetics. This is the, uh, the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye cream. I do not care for the Bye Bye Under Eye, um, the corrector or the, what do you call it, the concealer. That's far too dry for me. But this one, I think I've used this one before, but I can't really remember. Um, I know that I haven't found a Holy Grail eye cream, so I'm sure I used this one and it was fine, but it obviously didn't blow me away. So this one, I'm just gonna try to use it up this month. And it's one of these that are in um, a little pot like a little pot like this. So I don't know, the last one that I used that was like this, it took me a really long time to use it up. So um, I think I can use this in a month, but if not, this is another one that I'll roll over to next month as well. So guys, that's everything I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to check out the Pantastic Ladies. I, like I said, I have that group linked down below. I know that they are starting to think about and to post the projects for next year. So if you're interested in jumping on in and participating with us for next year, make sure you're signed up as a, as a member of that group and make sure that you're looking um, for the announcements that are coming up. Also, be sure that you check out my fellow fantastic ladies who are participating in this collab. That's linked for you down below as well. And I will talk to you really soon. Bye.